Hello there. Here I am again. This is Tim, and I'm going to tell you about the Christmas I had with Jump Jump. The little elf was only three inches tall. Yes, I've seen Jump Jump, and believe me, he really does jump. Up and down, backwards and forwards and sideways. Why, he hard, he's hardly ever still. I'll tell you more about him. You remember that we were on our way to the North Pole. It was Merry Holiday, Sleepy Slim the Lion, who slept all the way, Hachi Pachi, the clown who drove the wishing star, Jump Jump, the merry little elf, the poet who kept reciting, and oh yes, myself, Tim. I'm not an elf or a clown or anything like that. I'm just a boy from the orphanage on my way to see Santa Claus. I saw him too, and I'll tell you all about it. in the wishing star and hadn't been flying long when suddenly I heard Jump Jump's voice. Merry holiday, Tim. I see the North Pole. I see the North Pole. You see the North Pole? Oh, Jump Jump. Tim, Jump Jump sees the North Pole. Yes, there it is. I can oh. see it shining out bright red against the white snow. I see it too, Jump Jump. It is a pole, isn't yes. it? Yes. How white everything looks. Not a tree or a house in sight. Not a house in sight, Jim? Not one? No, no, there isn't. That's odd. We should be able to see Santa's big red house plain as can be from here. Maybe it's under a snowdrift. That's why we can't see it. They might have had a blizzard up here, and it could have covered up Santa Claus' house with snow. You know, that might explain why I didn't receive a message from Santa Claus. Hey, Hosey! Hey, Hosey! Yes, Hosey Pogley. Do you see the North Pole, Hosey Pogley? We're here, we're here. Well, I kept wishing I'd see it, and I wished so hard that I thought maybe it was a fig of my imagination. <laughs> Don't you mean a figment of your imagination, Hosey Pogley? Oh, of course, that's <laughs> what I meant. But everyone knows what you mean when you say Fig, men's or so, uh, I might as well just go ahead and say fig and not waste my breath. <laughs> I, I don't see a sign of Santa Claus' house, though, down there, Merry Holiday. I don't either, Archie Pogley. I don't either, Archie Pogley. Oh, what's this? What's this tied around your middle, Jump Jump? <laughs> it's Jump Jump's yarn harness, Archie Pogley. Oh, I see. <laughs> You've got Merry Holiday harnessed to you so that she won't run away, huh, oh. Jump Jump? Hachi <laughs> Pogley, no, no. He's wearing this little yarn harness so that he can't fall over the side again of the wishing star. He fell over once, you know. It was fortunate he tumbled into a cloud so that Tim was able to save him. I'm an old clown today, am I? Well, you're an old elf then. <laughs> Yes, yes, I has white hair today. Yes, but I'm I'm wearing the white hair to match the snowy landscape, Jump Jump, my small scrap of bounce. <laughs> we'll have to wake Sleepy Slim and rouse the poet from his rhyming. 
Can you set the wishing star down beside the pole, Archie Pogley? Oh, as gently as a snowflake, Mary Holiday, as gently as a snowflake. Well, I was so excited to see the North Pole, I almost fell out of the wishing star myself. There wasn't a sign of a house for miles, even after the wishing star had come to rest on the hard snow. Here we are at the North Pole. Oh, Tim, Tim, here's a fleece lined jacket. You'll need it. Thank you, Mary Holiday. And jump, jump. Here's your ski suit and your red sweater. I've just finished it. <laughs> now jump, jump. Mm. Say it again. Slowly. It is very pretty. Thank you, Mary Holiday. Oh, oh, I'm glad you think it's pretty, jump, jump. And you're welcome. Oh, there it just fits. Ha <laughs> ha. And here are your paperclip skis. Now, be careful now, Jump Jump, and don't go too far away. You can see him plainly enough with that red sweater on. <laughs> he looks like a tiny red ball bouncing on a white sheet. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, sleep, be slim, wake up. Oh, that lion would sleep through anything. <laughs> We're at the North Pole, sleepy slim, wake up, wake up. <laughs> he's no good, Archie Pogley. He won't wake up till he's ready. He's just a sleepy lion. Oh, of course, of course, of course. That's why he's always called a lion. What? Why he's always called a lion? Yes, because he's always lying down. <laughs> in fact, in fact uh, he's a lion even when he's standing up, which isn't often. <laughs> oh, Archie Bargley, you're silly. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a famous man once said, thank you, my friend, thank you. But where is Santa's house? Oh, that's what's bothering me, Archie Bargley. You know, it can't be covered with snow. I don't see any big snow drift nearby. And the house is just a few steps from the North Pole. Oh, look, what's Jump Jump doing? Is that someone with him? It looks like someone in a white fur coat. Let's go and see who it is, Mary Holiday. Yes, yes. Jump Jump. Jump Jump. Oh, Tim. Tim, that's not someone in a white fur coat at all. It's... <laughs> It's a big polar bear. Yes, a bear. Oh, let's hurry. It's picking Jump Jump up in its paw. Hurry, hurry. We ran as fast as we could toward Jump Jump, but the big white bear didn't seem to be hurting the tiny little elf, only holding him in its paw and blinking at the stalk of bright red hair that sticks out of Jump Jump's pointed cap. Are you all right, Jump Jump? Are you all right? Oh. 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 What is he saying, Jump Jump? What's the bear saying? It doesn't look like a barber pole with those red and white stripes. Well, of course, of course. <laughs> I wondered what was strange about it. And that explains why we couldn't find Santa Claus' house. Oh, this isn't the North Pole at all. <laughs> oh, come on, Jump Jump, hurry. Oh, excuse us, Mr. Bear, but we do have to hurry back to our wishing star, for we're looking for the North Pole and Santa Claus. <laughs> Let's hurry. We'll have to fly on farther north, Archie Pogley. The real pole can't be far from here. I wonder what that bear wants a barber pole for. Tim, I'm surprised that you didn't guess that. Because he's a polar bear. Oh, <laughs> oh Archie Pogley. Uh, well, here we are. Here we are. Climb in now. As a famous man once said, Whoa! minutes we were swishing along again, but it wasn't long before we looked and saw the real North Pole, and there was a big rambling red house beside it, and a barn with the words, Merry Christmas, written on the roof. We knew it must be the right pole this time. Jump Jump almost jumped out of his sweater with excitement, chattering constantly as we alighted on the snow. He was the first one out. Christmas greetings, isn't it? It is always Christmas here, Mary Holiday. Oh, that's right. I forgot. 
Uh, it's always Christmas here, Tim. Santa Claus. Oh, Santa Claus. It's Merry Holiday, Santa Claus. Where are you? Oh, well, maybe he's in the workshop, too. He's usually so busy at this time of the year. Look at Jump Jump. He's waiting at the workshop door for us. My, what a big place. It looks like a factory. Well, it has to be big, Tim. Think of all the thousands of toys that are made here each year. But my, it's quiet. Usually there's a sound of hammers and saws. A knock on the door, please, Tim. I'll peek through the window. Ooh, ooh, why? It's it's empty. Empty, Occupy? Yes, there's there's none in there. Except rows and rows of toys. And they're lying quiet and still. Santa isn't in the workshop, Mary Holiday. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, let's go back to the house. Maybe he's resting. Well, I tell you, I started to feel strange. He was so quiet. We knocked on the front door. No answer. We knocked on the side door. No answer. We knocked at the back door. Still no answer. We looked at each other, and suddenly we heard someone calling out from the barn. Oh, that's Santa's voice. He's down in the barn with the reindeer. Santa Claus is in the barn with the reindeer, Mary Holiday. Yes, Santa's in the barn with the reindeer. Come on, let's hurry. Come on, Tim. We hurried as fast as we could down to the barn, and there in the stable was Santa Claus. As soon as he saw Mary Holiday, Santa gave a warm, welcoming smile and held out his hand to her. Hello, Santa Claus. Oh, hello, Mary Holiday. How glad I am to see you. How very, very glad I am to see you. Something has happened. I'm afraid there'll be no Christmas for the children this year. No Christmas? No Christmas. No Christmas? No Christmas. What do you think of that? That's what Santa Claus said. And that was the beginning of my most exciting adventure with Jump Jump of Holiday House. Because we were going to have a lot of things happen to us before Christmas could be saved for the boys and girls everywhere. We were going to meet the Ice Queen. We were going to be taken prisoner by the Snow Elves. And we were going to be trapped in the Glacier Palace. Be sure to listen next Monday, won't you? And I'll tell you more about our Christmas adventure with Jump Jump of Holiday House.